Welcome. In this segment, we'll be discussing the new SUNY ESF Library Catalog. This summer, we'll be migrating to a new system called ALEP, A-L-E-P-H. That's the official system name, and that's the system that all the SUNY libraries use. These are just some quick, frequently asked questions that we're going to run through about the new system. The new system will search not just Moon Library, but all of our libraries, for example, the libraries in the Adirondacks, the AEC, the Ranger School, and Cranberry Lake. It's very important to note that our library catalog will no longer search the collections of Syracuse University. If you want to search Syracuse University collections and libraries, you'll need to visit the SU Library website, library.syr.edu. To get to the new Moon Library catalog, you would want to go to the Moon Library website, www.esf.edu slash moonlib. And you're going to want to look for a box that says search books and more. And once you click on that option, you'll see this main search screen. And we're going to go a little more in depth to talk about what you're going to see. This is the basic search screen that you'll see when you go right into our library catalog. Let's run through what some of these searches are. When you get to the basic search screen, you're going to have the option to search for keywords, authors, titles, and subjects. So here's some tips. If you're searching all the fields, if you're searching by keyword, you need to remember that the system is putting an OR in between all of your keywords. So it's going to be searching titles, authors, contents, and subjects. So you're going to get a really large number of results. The other ways that you can search include searching by words in a title where it's only searching within the title field. Obviously, searching by author name is very specific. You'll get a finite number of results there. And you can also search by subject, but you have to be careful because those are special Library of Congress subject headings. If you don't find what you're looking for with subject headings, try to search by keyword or all fields. This is the other search option that you have in our new library catalog. It's the advanced search. And here you can combine keywords, and you can also do lots of limits. Let's talk about that some more. When you're in the advanced search option, you can use pull-down menus and you can choose different ways that you want to search. You can also choose to have words adjacent. So if you're searching for something that you know is a phrase, like acid rain, great lakes, or zebra mussels, you can say that you want to search for that as a words adjacent, as a phrase. It's important that you should use Boolean operators, and or not and that's going to help you narrow or broaden your search. Some other great features about the advanced search screen are that you can limit by year, by format, and by collection. So if I'm visiting the Adirondack uh, Ecological Center, I might limit my search to just that library so I can search what's in that library location. Another neat tip is that you can use a question mark to do truncating. So if I'm searching the word forest and I put a question mark on the end, you'll find all forms of that word, forest, forestry, and forests. There's some other neat features of the new library catalog. You can save citations your, your, to your computer as you're doing your searches. You can email citations to yourself, and you can also check your library account to see what you have checked out and renew your items. Let's go ahead and let's go into the library catalog so you can take a peek at what the new library catalog looks like. So the screen that I'm showing now is the actual search screen that you see when you click on to search the library catalog. Um, it's important to note that we are going to be doing a lot of customizing to the catalog. So right now we have some basic search options at the top, um, basic, advanced, results, previous searches. And as we refine the system and, and uh, work with the migration uh, from the old system to the new system, we will be tweaking these a little bit and improving on the wording of these search options and also the look of the screen. But the search types will stay the same. Basic search, advanced search. So let's go ahead and do a search so you can get a sneak peek. And I'm going to go ahead and do um, words and title and contents. And I'll search for the series Birds of North America. And I'm going to go ahead and say go. And so it's finding 60 results for me, and it's finding Birds of North America, and then it's also finding Birds of North America where it appears in other parts of 
the records because I searched all fields. I did a keyword search. A really neat feature of this new system is that we're linked to um, Google Books to get covers of books. So you can actually see sometimes what your book will look like. And from the main search screen here, you can see the title, the call number, and you can find out whether or not it's in the library. Let's go back to basic search. And we're going to do another search. Let's just try it a different way. Let's try title begins with and we'll see if we get any different results. Here I'm getting an actual list of all the titles called Birds of North America and it's asking me to pick the one that I want. So that search works differently than that first keyword search. It's bringing up a finite list here that I pick from. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Birds of North America here. Actually this is Birds of Northern Southern America. Um, but it's the search results are less than I did when the keyword search. Before I had 60 entries and here I'm getting a finite list here. Here's Birds of North America here. And we'll go ahead and click on this. This is actually one of the titles in Birds of North America. Down here it's telling us that. Let's go to advanced search. I just want to show you the neat features in advanced search. In advanced search you'll be using the pull down menus to tell it what you're searching. Author, title, and so forth. And then you use these drop-down words here, the Boolean words, to connect and or not. You also have the feature to do words adjacent if you're searching a phrase. So for example, if I'm searching acid rain, just to show you the wrong way here, I got 150 results for acid rain. But if I go back and say, yes, I want words adjacent, I should get a less, um, less results here. Let's see, acid rain. 146. So let's go back one more step here. Down at the bottom there's some really great ways you can limit your search. You can limit by year, you can limit by language, and here you can limit by format. So if you're just looking for books you can say that you just want books. And this is really neat here. I can tell it what collection I'm looking in. So for example, again I'm up at a remote campus and I just want to search the library I'm standing in. I can pick those remote campuses, AEC, Cranberry, and Ranger School. Or maybe I'm in Moon Library and I'm doing research and I only want SUNY ESF thesis and dissertations. I can choose that as a search limit and do my search. So you've got some choices. When you go into our new library catalog, you're going to default to the basic search screen. Pretty basic search options, keyword, title, author. Under advanced search, you've got a lot more options. You can combine keywords, you can do your limits here. So I would recommend doing the advanced search. And let's go ahead and do a quick search here. We'll do um, Onondaga Lake. Oops, Onondaga Lake. And we're going to limit to just thesis and dissertations. And we're going to go ahead and search. I'm going to say, and actually, I'm going to say yes, I want the words adjacent too, because Onondaga Lake is a phrase. We're going to have it go. And it found 54 results for Onondaga Lake and thesis and dissertations. Now, just to show you, um, if you did this without any limits, Onondaga Lake, I always like to show the difference. I'm not putting any limits on, and I click go. I'm going to get a lot of results here, 268. So by using those limits, I can really refine my search, and I can narrow that down. So the new system works a lot like the old system, basic search and advanced search, and you still have the options to save your citations and also email your citations to yourself. There's also a help button. If along the way you need any kind of help with using the catalog, up at the top there will be a help button. Let's talk about um, the new catalog a little bit more. So to remember, the new library catalog is still going to be linkable from the Moon Library homepage www.esf slash moon. There should be a search box that links you to all of our different um, search databases such as um, um, searching our libguides, searching um, the actual journal article databases, and then there'll be an option that should be called books and more. And that books and more tab will take you to the new library catalog, such as it does now. It takes you to the old catalog. So again, in uh, May, of 2013 will be migrating to the new library catalog and if you need any help along the way there's a help button. We've also just created a libguide 
so that if you have any questions along the way, you can refer to the LibGuide, libguides.esf.edu slash library catalog. That's it for now. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.